is Miss Karen. Uh, we're going to work on a little letter practice writing today. So who's ever with you is going to have to help. And you're going to have to make out one of the uh, a writing paper like I've shown on all of these that we start. So I um, can't find like, you know, the preschool writing paper. But you guys probably wouldn't have that. So just a regular note page. Okay. Take a highlighter and make the line on the top. You're going to leave the middle line, and then you're going to do a bottom line. Because when you're learning to write, you need that middle line as a guide. Okay, and then make like, you know, four or five lines. We're going to do five letters today. Okay, so we've done some of these in before. And I was trying to remember where I left off. So I'm thinking we're going to work on the letter J, the letter K, the letter L, the letter M, and the letter N. Okay, now, do I have enough room to make some of these lowercase? I think I do. Whoops. Let's make another line or two. Okay, so really you'd want like one of these set up for like your uppercase, and then you could do another page for lowercase. Um, so let's work on our uppercase first. So J, K, L, M, N. Okay, so the J. Remember when we did the letter J? as our letter recognition. It's just, it's a giant hook. Starts at the top line, goes all the way down to the bottom and hooks. And we cross it at the top, okay? So a giant hook and then a cross at the top. Okay, the letter K, it's a line, starts in the top line and goes all the way down. Okay, and then it sticks its hand up and waves. And then it needs a leg to stand on, okay? So big line, top to bottom. And then it's waving its hand, hey, pick me, pick me. But it also needs a little leg to stand on. Okay, our little L, capital, capital L, is a big line, top to bottom. And then it just has, like, one little support leg on the bottom. Okay? So, top to bottom, and one little support leg. Okay, M, it's kind of like a bunch of different sizes. V's. It's all in perspective. So, big line, top to bottom, and then we make a V in the middle, down to just the middle line, okay? And then we give it another leg to stand on. So if you wanted to kind of do this different, you make the V just to the middle line, and then you give it two long legs to stand on. Okay, our N, it has one line straight up and down, and then, you know, about a finger space apart. Another line straight up and down. So it's going to start to look like, are we making an H, Miss Karen? No! Then we make a diagonal line and connect them. Okay, as you get good, you can go straight up at an angle, and then back up again. One motion. Okay, but for right now, it might be easier for you just to do two lines and then connect them. Okay, so who's ever helping you with this, I want you guys to write, you know, have someone set up your page so you have your letters that you can copy, okay, and I want you to write your letters at least five times. Now, you can just copy them, or who's ever helping can take a pencil and just kind of lightly make the letters for you, okay, and I find this works the best. And I just realized... You'll see the letter M two ways. You might see the M that comes all the way down like this. Can you see the difference? We have the big V all the way down, okay, and then the lines, or like this. I learn my M's more like this, but both are perfectly acceptable. I think when we're learning to write now, because it's like new math, I think this is the way they prefer that you do them. Okay, so I, I'm going to switch this back up here. Okay, so for our practice that, you know, our mom or dad or our grandma, whoever. Okay, we're going to make the V all the way down. Okay. Oops, silly me. This needs to be an N. Kind of messed that up, sorry. Okay, so they can write these out in pencil for you. And maybe you know, like bold on one side, and then you can just trace over. K 
okay the pencil you know everyone should have a highlighter at home I mean highlighters are great because they're a little bit bigger like the fat crayons to hang on to or there's fat pencils for kids to learn the pencil control you know and when you get to be about you know three and a half four years old especially by five I mean you need to start holding your pencil the right way okay so a lot of you are like this still some of you are like this some of you, you know, maybe kind of like so, seeing hands go that way. Okay, so more like this. Some people, the two fingers are on top. I slide my middle finger down, and as such, I have a bump there. But, I mean, that's the proper way, and you want to hold it about an inch from the tip. Okay, and then it just kind of rests up here. Now let's do some lowercase. So lowercase letters usually start around that middle line. That's why it's important. So lowercase j is just a small hook with a dot okay so a small hook with a dot small hook with a dot and our lowercase k well it's it's kind of a top and bottom line but now we don't want to raise its hand way up we kind of want to start just below that middle line raise its hand up a little bit and then give it a leg to stand on underneath its arm and there again little subtleties in k's but top to bottom and then just kind of working on the bottom line raising the hand up a little bit and giving the leg to stand on okay and then L's is just a line down okay that's a lowercase L just it's just a line it looks like a number one and if you're not careful it might be seen as a number one just kind of depends upon in the context of the group of letters or the sentence that it's in so there's L, and then, okay, M, lowercase m, it's got a leg, and then one bump, two bump. Okay, so a little leg halfway, and then one bump, two bump. And our N is like a short M. It has the little half leg, but it's just got one bump. So one leg and a half a bump. Okay, so there again, you know, who's ever with you, take a pencil. Make some of these, just trace them out kind of light so the kids can follow them. Trace them with their magic marker or whatever it is they have. Like I said, preferably a highlighter works really great. Okay, so then they can come along behind and just trace right over that pencil mark. Okay, so I want you guys to do your letters, these letters, okay? Five times. Five times and this is kind of the middle of our alphabet and these letters actually get used quite a bit I mean some letters like X's don't get used that much and Z's but kind of the meat and potatoes part of our alphabet here and along with the uh, O P S T those are probably make up half of our words okay so there you go there's you some letter practice go practice on those and like I said each letter five times like I said, highlighters work great because it's it's a little bit meatier um, for the little kids to hang on to. All right, so there you go.